This is one of the simplest old-school electric doorbells. Its invention dates back to 1897. Inside it we find two electromagnets, metal bars with a coil wrapped round them, a hammer and a circuit breaker. A ringer, a button and a battery are also part of the system. At the moment the circuit is not complete because there's no contact between the two terminals of the battery. If we push the button this completes the circuit and an electric current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal along this path. When current passes through the coils, the electromagnets are magnetized and start to attract the hammer. Consequently, the hammer moves through the electromagnets and hits the bell. After this movement of the hammer, the circuit is broken, the current flow stops and so the electromagnets are demagnetized. The hammer returns to its original position and the circuit once again is completed. The cycle then repeats. Current flows, the electromagnets are magnetized and the hammer moves through the electromagnets and hits the bell before returning to its starting position. The hammer continues to move causing the bell to ring for as long as we press and hold the button. Electromagnets are a type of magnet in which the magnetic field is produced by an electric current. As in the doorbell, if we wound a ferromagnetic material such as iron, nickel or cobalt with wire and connected the ends of the wire to a battery, we'd create an electromagnet. The main advantage of electromagnets is that their magnetic field can be controlled. Whenever we want a magnetic field we just need to make a current flow through the wire. If we increase the number of loops of wire around the metal core or increase the current we get a stronger magnetic field. So we can adjust the field strength. Electromagnets are used in many different devices including motors, generators, transformers, relays, scientific equipment, loudspeakers, headphones, some medical equipment and magnetic locks.